Today's top five might raise a couple eyebrows. Now, we're taking out the MCW, a gun that I put in a lot of top fives does not deserve to be in this one right here. In fact, actually, we're putting a gun that I never, ever thought I would throw into a top five. We're going to throw it in the number three spot. You guys will see that. I mean, it's just a, it's, it's a gun I never thought I would put in. All right, but let's get into it, guys. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think the MCW deserved to be nerfed again? I, I honestly to God, don't think so. It gets nerfed every single season, every single mid-season update, every single update there is it seems like the mcw is catching a nerf and i'm not happy with that but anyways guys drop a like on this video sub to the channel those already turned on let's get straight into the class setup so first one i want to talk about is the mtz 556 this gun ever since the mcw got nerfed has been coming up and up and up it is so good it is so overpowered that's just really nice so this is the gun right here as you guys can see we're gonna go ahead and shoot it there's barely any recoil to it if anything most of the recoil is visual. It's so easy to hit targets, so easy to draw people, pretty quick as well. I mean, for having a big mag and stuff like that, it, we got 50, we got a drum mag on this thing. And it's still really nice to draw people with it. So yeah, it's gonna be it right there. Now, obviously we got some some things you guys could go ahead and copy here if you need to, like the infantry vest, we got stim, thermite, munition box, assault gloves, cover sneakers, ghost, and then my core 45 for this class. I will move my face here so you guys could actually go ahead and see the whole entire class. This is my secondary for the core 45, Probably one of the best core 45 classes there is. I love this class, guys. I love it. But let's get into the XRK, or the XRK, the MTZ class, because this is the nice one that I want to talk about. The first attachment is going to be the Jack BFB muzzle, all right? This is going to give you guys a lot of that recoil control that you really need on this weapon. Now, the reason we're running this is because we're going to be running a lot of other stuff that give us more ADS, focus more on sprint to fire and all that kind of stuff. So having this on is going to be really nice. It gives you 55 recoil gun kick, 20 horizontal recoil, and 35 vertical recoil it's really nice then we got the mtz vldl 3568 barrel it's say that five times as fast as you can it's so tough these names are so weird but anyways this one gives you that ads speed it gives you that sprint to fire speed and it gives you sprint speed it's really nice you're actually getting seven ads and you're getting eight sprint to fire which i think is worth it and the reason for that is because we're gonna have the 50 round drums on this class this one's gonna be taking away quite a bit of everything it's taking away 12 ads and taking away two sprint to fire so it's pretty pretty heavy but in all fairness, we're throwing on other attachments to kind of counter that. We got the Jack Glassless Optic as well for an optic on this gun. Now, this one right here, it takes away ADS, guys. It takes away 2% ADS. It sucks, but it's a nice optic sight. It's a nice one. I didn't like it at first when it first came out, but it is what it is. It is a nice one. And then for the final attachment, we got the rear grip, which is the rival ace grip. This is going to give you that ADS speed. It's going to give you more sprint to fire speed, movement speed, aim walking speed. Let's move my face here so you guys can see that and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The movement speed goes up by 4. ADS goes up by four ads movement speed goes up by four and sprint to fire as well goes up by four now you guys want to see the class setup without my face in the way this is the entire class setup for the mtz 556 right here this is probably one of my favorite guns in the entire game i i, I love it it's good it's really nice but it's not my rebirth island gun and i, I put a lot of rebirth especially ranked rebirth the same it, the same it, but it's still good on multiplayer. Going to number two, we got the Striker 9. Not to be confused with the Striker, the Striker 9, in my opinion, is the better weapon to be using. All right, look at this thing right here. You guys are going to see it is fast, it doesn't shoot slow, it is accurate. You guys are already watching the gameplay in the background and stuff. Here, you can see like it looks like it has recoil and stuff, but in the actual gameplay in the background, it has no recoil whatsoever. I'll show you guys. You guys, you guys will see what I'm talking about right here. So, the actual class setup for this is going to be the Jack BFB again. This one's going to be really nice. You're going to get that gun kick control, vertical, horizontal, all that. You already know the deal. It's 55, 20, 35. That's what you're getting for this right here. In terms of recoil control, we're losing 13 ADS and sprint to fire, but it's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. After that, we're going to run the Striker Elite Long Barrel. And this one's great because you're getting 12 effective damage range, 13 minimum damage range, and 15 bullet velocity. But you're also getting recoil gun kick at 6, horizontal and vertical both at 9, which is great in my opinion. You're losing no ADS, but you are losing 9% sprint to fire. So it's pretty crazy, but this gun already has a pretty decent uh, sprint to fire right off the rip. So I wouldn't mind actually losing a little more of that. And just in case, we got the VLK Laser 7 Megawatt here to give us 5% ADS and sprint to fire back on this gun. Just in case we need it, it's going to be good right there. Now, we're not positive in sprint to fire yet, but it's, it's not bad. Let's be honest, it's not bad at all. 40 round mags is going to take some of that stuff away again. One sprint to fire, really nothing, just one. You barely even notice it when playing the game. Six ADS. That that one's a little a little high, but it ain't too bad. And then finally, we got the RB Crotalus Assault Stock. This one's crazy because you're getting gun kick control, but you're also getting recoil control. 
But the best part of it is you're getting those two with firing aim stability that takes away a lot of that visual recoil, but you're also getting ADS. That's great. Like you're actually getting ADS. So you're getting 5% ADS with this recoil gun kick 12, and then it's, it's just really nice. And then the firing aim stability, you can't see when you actually look into it here. It doesn't show it here, but it is there, and it is really good. Let's move the face. You guys could actually go ahead and get the actual class setup for this right here. Really nice class. Really good class, and I just, honest to God, I like this one a lot. Now let's move on to the gun that I said I didn't think I would be adding into this video. That's the M4, guys. The M4. Why am I adding an M4 into this? Well, there's actually two reasons. One, this thing is going to get a very good buff soon. I have a feeling. I have a feeling it's going to get a buff because they're going to bring a conversion can aftermarket parts to this weapon eventually, I think sometime this season. So it's going to be a viable option. But number two, it's ground loot on Rebirth. The M4 is literally ground loot. They're going to make this gun usable again. And it's really good. Like this class right here, obviously the Modern Warfare 2 guns have a little more visual recoil than the Modern Warfare 3 guns. But it doesn't miss. It doesn't miss. It has a very fast fire rate. And it's just overall an amazing weapon to be using. So let's get into the actual class setup. The Jack BFB for the first time ever on the M4. You couldn't do it before. You couldn't put this on because it was only in Modern Warfare 2, this gun. And then when it came to this game, Jack BFB wasn't here originally. Well, here it is, guys. You can actually throw it onto this gun. And it's crazy because it's giving you that 55, 20, 35 that you need in terms of recoil control. So it's actually really nice. Then we got the Edge 47 grip. We're gonna run a Modern Warfare 2 grip on this one, just because I think it's worth it. You're getting 444, four recoil, gun kick, horizontal, and vertical. You're getting a nice amount of all those. Sacrificing 10% ADS, we already saw it. It's not bad. The ADS is really not bad on this gun whatsoever. 45 round mags, this one is gonna be optional. If you're cool with the 30, run the 30. I would recommend like a VLK laser if you go ahead and do that. I think 45 is fine. I, I like it. It doesn't make the gun too slow, but it is what it is. Another attachment that's new to the M4, not this season, but it's new because it's a new attachment and stuff, is the Jack Glassless Optic. And this one's great. This one makes the M4 really, really nice. But if you like the iron sight, I don't. But if you like it, go ahead and use the iron sight as well. Then we got the X10 grip for sprint to fire and ADS. Three ADS, 13 sprint to fire so it's really nice it's a quick gun for an assault rifle you guys are gonna see right here let's sprint a little bit not bad whatsoever really easy to hit your targets and just overall a really good gun i don't know what was happening there but i was like getting one frame per second it felt like anyways drop my controller all right Let's move on to number three. Let's move on to number three here, guys. The number three, or four actually, the number four weapon on this list is gonna be the BP-50. This gun slept on. I was using the SVA like crazy on Rebirth Island. I was doing all right. I was doing actually pretty good with it, but then I switched over to the BP-50 and it's night and day, man. This gun is so, so good, all right? This gun is like probably the best gun on Rebirth Island right now. Now, I don't know if this is my Rebirth class, but this is my multiplayer class, and I still like it. So I'm gonna share this one with you guys. We have, I might, maybe after, after the number five gun, maybe we'll go back to my Rebirth class. It might be the same, it might be different. I think it's a little different, but whatever. Anyways, Jack BFB, you guys already know, 55, 20, 35. Really nice to have on, really good to have on. Then we got the Lore 9 Heavy Barrel for bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, recoil control, and firing aim stability. 15% effective and minimum damage range, 18% bullet velocity, 5 recoil gun kick, 7 horizontal and vertical. Really nice to have right there. Hex 40 grip for the hip fire spread, recoil control, and tax stand spread. I don't think this is my Warzone class. I don't think it might be. Let's let's go check it out after. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go check it out after. You're getting nine in terms of everything for recoil control, so it's nice. In terms of accuracy, you're getting hip fire spread minimum 11, hip fire spread max four, and tactical stand spread three losing 11% ADS, so it's nothing, honestly, it's nothing, don't care about losing that, I think I showed you guys the barrel already, let's move on to the 45 round mags, because yeah, who doesn't want that many, especially on Rebirth, 45 is going to help you guys out a lot, and then the Moat 40 stock, I'm pretty sure I have this one on Rebirth as well, gun kick control, ADS, aim walking speed, and recoil control right there, 25 gun kicks, 6 horizontal and vertical, 3 ADS, this gun you guys are going to see, I'm going to show you right here in the firing range, it is nice. There's like no recoil to this thing. And I shared this class or at least a similar class with you guys. I think it was a similar class um, with you guys a couple of weeks ago. And you guys loved it, man. You guys had some of the best games you've ever had using the BP-50. So use it, guys. It's actually really, really good. Now, that was the number four weapon. We're going to go over to the number five. It's somewhere here. It's actually, I think it's this one. Yeah, right here. The HRM-9. This gun 
is good. I think this is my secondary on Rebirth as well. I'm pretty sure. Probably a different class. I'll just show you guys the whole class after. But either way, it's really, really good. We got the Stare 45 Sky Fury Compensator. Let's actually hold up. I think I forgot to remove my face here for you guys. If you want the whole entire class of this without my face in, there you guys go. There's the BP-50. Pretty sure I forgot to do this before. There you guys go. And maybe the M4 as well. I think I might have forgotten the M4 as well. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Let's just move it. Just so you guys, I know you guys like taking screenshots of this and stuff without the face in the way. So there you go. You guys can go ahead and do that as well right there. Now, actually going on to the HRM9. This gun's crazy. So like I said, Star 45 Sky Fury Compensator S for that recoil control. You're getting 18 horizontal and vertical, which is nice. You're losing 14 ADS, but it's a small SMG. Don't worry about losing that. We're going to be losing more with the 50 round drum anyways. We're going to be losing another 10 ADS with that and one sprint to fire. So I wouldn't mind losing that a little bit. The DR6 hand stop is going to give us back 7 ADS, 9 sprint to fire. But also let me move this right here so you guys can see. 6 movement speed, 11 crouch movement speed, 3 ads movement speed so overall overall really nice attachments to have on then we got the tack handler grip for tack sound spread but the main reason we're using it is for that sprint to fire speed now you're losing eight in terms of all that recoil control but you're getting 13 sprint to fire so i kind of think it's worth it especially if you're only using this gun for close range and stuff the recoil control is not too important and we got the stair 45 already right here which is going to give us 18 for both of those so honestly losing a little bit is not that bad and then finally we got the folding stock for recoil control gun kick control firing aim stability nine recoil gun kick horizontal 14 vertical 14 so that's pretty good right there now i'll move my face right here for you guys so you guys can actually see the class setup and that is it right there now we're going to move on to my actual rebirth class because i want to just make sure it's not the same maybe it is it might not be but anyways let, let's go over to rebirth this season, guys, I'm hitting Crimson, all right? I'm doing it. I'm definitely doing it. I already hit Diamond again. I already came back to Diamond. I think I was at, like, Plat 1 or 2 or something. But this season, we're definitely, definitely hitting <laughs> Crimson, 100%. So let's go here. Uh, let's go to Weapons. And this is my class setup. So this is my whole entire class setup, actually, for Rebirth Island. We got Smoke, we got Thermite, and then my Perk Package, which I'm going to be changing a little bit, is uh, Irradiated not really that important let's be honest mountaineer probably one of the most important ones to run mountaineer super important i keep forgetting i have it on so i keep pulling out my shoot when i don't need to but i gotta get used to rebirth the way rebirth plays and stuff and we got quick fix super nice to have you start your health regen as soon as you kill someone and then higher alert again super important so i might just mess around with the radiated for a second but so far these three are probably some of the most important ones to have on within the game now that now here's the hrm9 it seems similar but it, i don't think it is so here we'll move my face i don't think it's the exact same class the folding stock is the same the 50 round drum might be the same dr6 hand stop is the same i think these two are different so we got for the muzzle we got the zemin 35 compensated flash hider which is giving you a lot of stuff it shortens the radar pings which is great but you also got vertical and horizontal recoil control 5 and 15 respectively or actually not respectively 5 horizontal 15 vertical so right there you're losing 5 ads but it's not that bad and then the Thorn 90 barrel right here, as you guys can see, this one's going to give you that ADS, that sprint to fire, both that seven, really nice to have. And overall, just a good class in general. And then right here, I'll keep my face off just so you guys can see it. We got this one right here for the BP-50. Now you're getting VT-7 Spirit Fire Suppressor. I don't think that's what I had on multiplayer. The Bruin Heavy Support, I don't think I had this either. The Lore 9 Heavy Barrel, I think I had this one on, I'm not sure. 45 round, uh, round mags, we definitely had, and the Moat 40 stock again we definitely had that but in terms of these three right here i don't think we had this this one's going to give you that five percent minimum and effective damage range bull velocity at eight horizontal at seven vertical at seven and then the lore nine is going to give you some pretty good stuff as well 15 effective damage range and minimum damage range which is really worth it on rebirth island and then 18 bullet velocity you're getting five recoil gun kicks seven horizontal and vertical and then finally the bruin heavy right here to give you 10 recoil gun kick and eight horizontal so we're gonna actually i'm gonna show you guys this class it's nice maybe in the firing range it's gonna bounce a little more than it normally does but this one right here is definitely a straight shooter and look at that right there it's there's like no recoil no visual recoil just nothing in general on this gun really easy to actually hit those shots and stuff and i actually love this class on rebirth island i think we won like two or three games yesterday and this this was the gun I was using for I think two out of those three wins so it's actually really nice it's, it's actually a really good class and overall probably one of the classes that I would recommend to use at all times this is it and it does mean nice this class does mean nice we're gonna switch out the thermite probably for a throwing knife I'm gonna do that right now actually 
Because throwing knives are good to have if you just want to finish people. Just thirst them. Just go ahead and do it. It's Rebirth Island, man. You got to get those kills. Anyways, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like. I guess I gave you seven guns, seven classes. Not bad. Not bad. All right. <laughs> yeah. Sub to the channel. Doesn't know what he's turned on. And let me know down in the comments below. Did the MCW deserve that nerf? It did it. In my opinion, it 100% did not deserve that nerf again. And I think it's the only AR you could use in ranked on multiplayer. So stop nerfing it. Honestly, stop nerfing it. But that's going to be it for the video. Like I said, drop that like, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.